everyone and Meta here from IELTS Booster and in today's program we're going to discuss some specific conceptual features of a well-written paragraph. So let's consider some of these do's and don'ts. Um, in addition to what we had previously regarding the size of the paragraph and you know about the molds and I said a good topic sentence should neither be too general nor too specific. So that's what we discussed previously. But what else we have is, um, the second thing you need to focus on is a good topic sentence should neither be a fact. So what does it mean? Uh, let's say, if I say tigers are wild animals, no, seriously, are they wild? I thought that they're domestic. Uh, I can't believe they're domestic, no way, you know. Can you believe it? Uh, they are wild. So, you see? This is not a good topic sentence because you've got nothing else to prove it. Perhaps, um, you know, facts would make good supporting sentences, but they are never good choices. But they are not usually good choices to be used as a topic sentence. Let's make, let's change it a bit. What if I say, "Oh, tigers are crafty animals." Yeah, that one. If I say tigers are crafty animals, so I can say, well, like other cats, they approach the prey and they ambush, and yeah, I've got things to say, you know. Well, so I can say tigers are crafty animals, or they are sly. Oh, no, I wouldn't use that adjective because I like tigers, you know. So that's all for the second. They should not be a fact either. And what else is. What's more is, uh, the third feature is that tiger, I mean, uh, tigers, you know, apart from tigers, I say a good topic sentence should not be a, should not be unbelievable. Now, I say, for instance, I say, I mean, wigs are better than your own natural hair. Can you believe it? Well, I say, uh, Hamlet was written by Francis Bacon. Can you believe it? Oh, I thought I was just busy with writing essays. Was it writing plays as well? I didn't know that. I can't believe it. You know, no way. Can you believe it? No. Because even if your claim is okay or might be true, you have insufficient size to provide compelling reasons and evidence. You might need to write a 30 page essay to provide details, examples, or no one believes in what you said, <laughs> and you can't believe in it either. You yourself can't believe in it. If I said that one was written by, oh, well, you know, Francis Bacon, it's impossible. So, do not write unbelievable facts for small-sized paragraphs. So these were some of the features you need to focus on for writing a paragraph. In later on, I'll discuss some, you know, some specific features for writing a good supporting examples or some ways and methods and tools you have for supporting what you claimed at first in with through your uh, topic sentence so stay with me for more videos